So it is a beautiful Monday. I am about to kick off this run, log some miles. It is 5.45 a.m. right now, but I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite authors right now. I've been reading some of his books or listening to some of his books on Audible during my morning run or morning commute to and from the office. It is Dr. Henry Cloud. I first read Trust by Dr. Henry Cloud, loved it. And now I am listening to on Audible Necessary Endings, which I might like even more than Trust. Both really good books. Highly recommend both. But let's go log some beautiful morning miles. days we are heading back to Austin for the Austin Marathon this coming weekend I'm running the half but BPN is the main nutrition sponsor this year which is super exciting and the Austin Marathon holds a special place in my heart it was my first three marathons my first marathon was the Austin Marathon 2018 I ran three hours, 57 minutes. And the following year, I ran slower, four hours, 15 minutes. And then I went for my first sub three that I missed. I ran three hours, 24 minutes. Big swing, big miss. So I love this marathon. It's very special to me. Eight miles, 56 minutes, 56 seconds at a 7.07 minute per mile pace. I'll be honest, I wasn't monitoring heart rate there. I wasn't monitoring pace. I just went out there, ran based off feel, let it rip. Heart rate definitely got a little elevated during that run, but it felt good and it was fun. One of the best feelings in the world is when you get back from your morning run and your daughter is still asleep. Charlie is still asleep. Sometimes she wakes up towards the end of that run. Steph gets up, gets her ready. But I love when I get back from a run, Charlie's still asleep. So Steph gets some extra rest in the morning before a long day. This Monday is off to a great start.
Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. How did you sleep? Look at your hair. Are you ready for breakfast? Do you want pancakes? No, no, that's not going to be. Do you want waffles? No, no, this is a bad, bad, bad day. Come on, Rem. Let's go, Remy. In the morning when I get back from my runs, my hands are freezing. I have to change you, but you never complain. You never complain. First things first, banana. Thank you. Here we got the morning supplement stack. One scoop of strong greens, one scoop of strong reds, our nutrient powerhouses, and then four capsules, which is one serving strong multivitamin, one capsule strong joints for that joint support, and then two soft gels of strong omega, which is our fish oil supplement. Strong reds, one scoop. Come on over here. Want to give the strong greens? Charlie's about to join me. All right. Here she is. She's got mom's toothbrush. How'd you get this toothbrush? Here's what we're going to do. Cap one. There's strong greens and strong reds in here. He's say shake, 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 shake. Yeah. Shake, 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 shake. So a lot of my calls and meetings today are all around the Austin Marathon in preparation for the marathon because one, we are hosting the ShakeOut Run on Friday and then we have the Expo all day Saturday, which we are doing something completely brand new that we haven't done before, we haven't seen done before, more of a disruptive marketing play and then the marathon, the race is on Sunday. So we have a lot going on this coming weekend to plan and prepare for. But something I wanted to show you guys. So as you know, a few months ago, we launched the Go Gel in our initial original flavor of apple cinnamon. Now we are launching a new flavor of the Go Gel at the end of this month being February. It is mixed berry. It is quite delicious. So now you can choose either between the apple cinnamon or mixed berry. And we have a third flavor coming out this summer, which is in collaboration with one of our athletes. I'm not gonna tell you who, I'm not gonna tell you what flavor yet, but it's good and it complements this line very well. So I was planning on eating lunch at the office. However, ended up taking some of my morning calls at the house. So I am going to show you how I'm going to spice up what was going to be my at office lunch, which I'm heating up and it's just rice, beef, chicken, coconut aminos, and Primal Kitchen's buffalo sauce. But we're gonna add some things to make it an extra special bowl. So here's the meal that I just heated up. Like I said, rice, chicken, beef, buffalo, coconut aminos. And then I'm gonna add some of these cucumbers that I chopped up, cherry tomatoes, a spinach romaine mix. Then I'm gonna add some of this 
Ithaca hummus. This hummus is so good, and they have a bunch of different flavors. Some tzatziki and some crumbled goat cheese. Everything is better when it's mixed in a big bowl. So, here's our big bowl. Here's our lunch we are gonna have. So we got our cucumber. Drop that in there. We got our tomato. Drop that in there. We got our lettuce. So I just doubled the volume of this bowl. Now for the tzatziki, the classic hummus, and some of the goat cheese. And now that it's mixed up, it looks like that. Just a bunch of beautiful, nutritious, volume, goodness. This is my lunch. We're, we're currently, like within the next 30 days, gonna be building this exact footprint in 470. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we'll learn a lot over the next three or four months. And so I guess the question for you is, at what point in this process do we really need to nail down exactly where this is gonna sit? Just got off a call with Josh Preston, our landlord and an architect to discuss this. Now, normally a design or blueprints like this are printed on massive sheets of paper, but we're working with just regular printer paper right now. This is the proposed next future HQ of Bayer Performance Nutrition. It is just under 80,000 square feet. And if we move forward with this, it will be done next spring, early summer of 2025. So over here, we have all consolidated offices, about 53,000 square feet of just warehouse. And then the gym over here with locker rooms, bathrooms, showers, podcast studio, uh, all in one building, which is nice because our current footprint in Round Rock, Texas, takes up three separate buildings and this would be beautiful for this next phase of BPN. Today's lifting session is a push strength workout, primarily focused on chest and triceps because I did a little bit of shoulders yesterday, so I'm going to exclude shoulders from this push workout. Started off with 100 push-ups. I usually break mine up into three sets. So the first set was 50 reps, then 25, then 25. And then I did uh, four sets of cable flies, and now I'm gonna move into dumbbell chest press, uh, do a few warm-up sets, and then work up to 120 pounds, and do about four sets, shooting anywhere from six to eight reps per set. One way I always wrap up a compound movement is with a back off set. So I just finished off my sets with 120 pound dumbbells. And now I'm gonna go to 100 pound dumbbells, do as many reps as possible, 
to failure, burnout, and that is my, my back off set. So doing that right now. Come on. It's 13. Woo. Back off set was 13 reps, 100 pound dumbbells. Now I'm moving into some triceps. I'll superset dips with cable tricep push downs. One of my favorite quotes recently, and if you listen to the podcast, you've probably heard me frequently mention it. And it's that the concepts are few, but the methods are many. I think it's very applicable to strength training, more importantly, bodybuilding or hypertrophy style training, where there's all these different variations and variables that you can manipulate during your training to feel the movement in different parts of your body, activate different muscles. For example, doing dips. Sometimes I'll hold the, the bar like this, but in this last set, I more so had my hand kind of over this grip, which put the emphasis of the movement on a big part of my tricep, and I could feel the activation a whole lot more. So I would encourage you guys to try some different methods while lifting, experiment with some different techniques or just positioning of your body, your hands, your feet, your arms, to see where you feel that movement the most. So this right here is something my mom used to make for me and my brother all the time growing up. One of our favorite recipes, eggplant parm. So we got chicken on the Traeger, eggplant parm just came out. Looks so good. Let's tell everyone what we just did. We just did bath time, right? <laughs> come, out, come over here. Look, at night after dinner, you and I do bath time, and then mom gets your bottle ready and your warmy. The warmy has been game changing. And then mom puts you down. But for a little bit, we play and read books. Should we show people how we do push ups? Aw, thank you, Char. Um, Let's show people how we do push ups. One, two, three. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Four. Five, six, seven. How many do you think we can do? Ten. Did you just say ten? I think she said ten. Today was chest day. My chest is tired. I'm gonna get on your back now, and you're doing push-ups. What do you think? So right now, it is 8:25 p.m. We just got Charlie down a little bit ago. I'm about to go in and get caught up on some work from the day that I fell behind on a little bit. But the next video that goes live on this YouTube channel is a podcast that I recorded yesterday. And it explains the next chapter of our life as a family and the next chapter for BPN. We are actually moving back to Texas. We have been in Nashville for about six months now and we are moving back. I am back in the CEO seat of Bear Performance Nutrition. And the next podcast that goes live, the next YouTube video that goes live, will explain everything. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support and love. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you.